Welcome back, everyone, to my playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. We are here in uh, Hogsmeade, I think. And it's been actually just a little bit since I've played. Uh, had some, oh, you know, responsibilities and all that crap that you have to take care of in life, which blows out beefy, bloody chunks. But now we can get back to playing and, um,. Let's see, I need to kind of remember how I did stuff. What is this? Oh, I could pet the cat. Can I destroy it? So that's how I... Um... Aim... How do I... Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Uh... I forgot. Oh, RT? Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. I see. So... Rebellion. Check this out. Oh, this... I, I haven't even done this yet. Trying to figure out... I guess I can equip different ones. And... What is this Repair. one? Oh, yeah. So those are all the spells that I've learned. Alright, I think we're good. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you're having a f great freaking day. Um, what are we doing? Let me see. I think we have like a task or something like that, right? We have to go. Well, here we are. We got all these cool shops. But um, but um, but um, we've already visited a few, haven't we? So let me see. Quest, right? That's what we need to go to. Quest, 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 quest. Uh, welcome to Hogsmeade. So I need to visit J. Pippin's potions and visit the magic neep. Okay, well we'll do that gradually, but we're still just kind of looking around. Um, have we went inside here? It's locked. We went inside the bar last time, the three broomsticks. Ollivander's is where we just got the wand. Let's just look around and uh, explore. Zonkos. Looks interesting. Check this out. Whoa. Huh. Oh my god. Uh -huh. This is just going to keep going. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. This place is like. It's earned the name. Donkos. Look at this thing. Uh. What's gonna happen here? Okay. Whoa. Look at this stuff. Hi. Can I talk to you? Oh. Don't guess I can. Uh. Oh. Excuse me. And I'm just taking it in. Look at these things. Gillyweed. Honic. Where are you going? Let's check upstairs. So this, isn't this the kind of shop that, um, I forget what movie, which one it was in. I'm going to be referencing the movie so much in this playthrough. Um, I want to say it was the Half-Blood Prince that started off and the Weasley twins. They were running a shop like this. It looks like Harry Potter. Can I activate this? New. What was this guy do? Okay. And go outside. And we are upstairs. 
Nice. Um, I'm gonna pause it just really quick. Sorry about that. So, on my stupid OBS thing, I set up a few hotkeys. Um, the hotkey I set to pause, I just did the control one. And apparently, that's the same one you use uh, on the keyboard to make him roll. <laughs> so, uh, that's funny. Anyhow, in any case. Um, let's see. Well, that was fun. Zonkos. Let's go up here. Man, check this out. Oh my gosh. Ooh, uh, how do I grab those again? Crap. Uh. No. Oh, I have to hold the thingy, right? Akio. There we go. Build guide pages. Akio. Nice. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we'll go up here, I guess. River's Edge. Powers should be kept in all these pure black families, like the blacks. Wouldn't want riffraff running things. That's what my mother says. I Jeez. thought Professor Black would get rid of all the muggle-born students. Too much to hope for, I suppose. Damn. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, actually, <clears throat> I mean, uh, yes, I agree. Those Watch yourself. muggles. Slytherin student. Check out this uh, pot. Ooh, look over there. Something floating, I think. Man, can you believe that we're actually able to explore this whole place? This is so freaking awesome. Locked. are you doing? Uh, whoa! Collect field guides. Do you need help? <laughs> I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Uh, hi. Don't mind me, I'm just eavesdropping terribly. What did he call that weird looking bird? Um. Okay. What are you guys doing? Fishing? Can I jump in the water? Oh, oh. Right, here I come. <laughs> I can swim. Press L to swim faster. Okay. Is there like a water walking spell? Can I dive? This is cool. Um, let's see. I guess maybe over here we could hop back up. I don't know why, but I didn't think I'd be able to swim. That's cool, though. So we're kind of outside of the city now. Up here. Hi. What's gonna happen if I do this? Okay. I don't- I should have suspected that. <laughs> hey guys! So are there like side quests in this game? Where's the city? I've gotten all turned around. Uh... Back this way, yeah? Yeah. So are there like side quests though? You know, like if I'm wandering around... You know, I can walk up to someone eventually and they'll be like, Oh hey, you know... I could really use your help with something. That's kind of what I was looking for. Because right now, we're still on the main story stuff. What is this? Wow. You can do anything with magic. Even throw rocks. This looks like a shop. Brood and Peck. What's oh, locked. Okay. Well, that's going to lead out of the town. 
Eight of eight. Bill God Pages Hogsmeade. Now, since I just did that, I believe I earned something, right? Is this the one? Claim reward. So it's a Zonko's Chief Prankster hat. Uh, okay. And gear of Princess Road. Zonko Chief's Prankster coat. So I need to collect 15 more field guides. And uh, 13 more for that, I think. Interesting. Mm. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Excuse me. Okay, I'm just looking. I'm trying to re-familiarize myself with some of this stuff. Oh, sick. Um. Let's see. It's kind of cool. You can just interact with all kinds of stuff. North Hogsmeade. Blue Flame. Where? Oh, it's right there. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Do the hard work first, and the easy bits take care of themselves. What's this? Honey Dukes. Oh, it's like a candy shop. Oh, there's cotton candy. Can I go inside? Ew, let's get some candy. Man, I can't tell you the last time I went inside like a candy shop like this. And that sounds great. Let me just steal an. Oh, well, maybe it's actually a free sample. Okay, I wasn't expecting Revenge. that. Fizzing Wispies. These delicious sweets, rumored to contain. Uh, Billywig stings are small sherbet balls that, when consumed, will levitate one a few inches off the ground. Cool. <laughs> Fizzing Wisbees. I'm guessing that's him. They'll make you float. <laughs> man, just the detail, man. Just look at this place. <laughs> Excuse me. Um... And you got these floating, uh... I guess they're meant to be, like, little candies or something, yeah? But they're just big. They look like... Like nuclear bombs with, like... Uh... Butterfly wings on them. I don't know what they are. <laughs> um... Just look at the detail in this place, man. Check out these. Oh, man. They got kind of stuff like this. There's a grocery store called Winco. And they got these barrels of, of stuff kind of like that. What is that? It looks like a... It looks like a frozen turd. What is that? It sounded... weird. Hey! Ha! Did I scare you? Out of my way, muggle. Maybe he's not a muggle, but I'm going to call him one anyway. What do we have here? Let's steal some more cake. Got different paintings and stuff. Yeah, check this out. Can I go in here? No. What's behind here? Locked. So where's the owner? Are you the owner? Ooh, what's going to happen here? I bet you that thing's going to move. Oh. I thought it was going to, like jump around and start dancing. Did I just steal those? Hmm, sounds like me. Oh, is this more of the wizzy? <laughs> okay, yeah. Rebellion. Not another note anywhere? One of those special notes that get revealed? There it is. Check that out. Exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten, although they are unlikely to cause serious injury. One is advised to chew carefully. 
Ah. Nice. I need to make sure that I remember to cast that spell quite a bit. Because, uh... Like... Ooh, hello. Is it gonna do the same thing from this side? Rebellion. I think so. Like, just listen to the way it sounds. There's a chest in there. Um... I guess it's like in the other area. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, you're the owner, aren't you? Don't mind me just snacking on stuff then, huh? Just taking all this and just eating it? Up here. Locked. Oh. Look at all these. Man, I'm just stuffing my face. So, I guess, like, I have a feeling that, you know, if I was injured or something, it would probably heal me. I don't know, maybe not. Rebellion. Maybe it's just, uh... I mean, just another thing that you can interact with. Okay. So there's no other way. I have a feeling that there's gonna be all kinds of quests that just end up taking us to these stores and stuff. Um... What's that? Something. Something. Can I go inside here? Oh, I can. Rebellion. Hello. Gray motley garb. Now I remember from the, uh, uh, what is it called? Brown Eye of Newt Goggles. I remember... There's only a certain amount of gear I can have. Rebellion. Hingist of Woodcraft. This statue is of Hufflepuff. Hingist of Woodcroft. Croft. Yeah. Woodcroft. Believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade. And after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. So, there was a group of Muggles that actually knew about him. Is a good thing. What is this place? Oh, there's owls! Is this like the post? Azure Mosaic Robe. Hi. Can I speak to you? No. So I can't really interact with any people. Rebellion. Um, and just start up random conversations. I mean, I can go in any place here. This is intense. Um, what's this? Scraven shafts. Like, could I even go in here? Like, you can go in everywhere. Oh, come on. I saw the thingy. You gotta be really close for that. Cat, get out of the way. Scraven shaft cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scraven shafts. Quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the threat of the owner often leaves for them. But did that say threat or treat? I just said treat and I just read it too fast. 45 chicken nuggets. Hello. Dervish Bang. Oh, I think. Man, there's just so many places here you can go inside. Where is the other shops, though, that I need to go to? Because I have a feeling that. The quests are gonna take me inside of each of these shops anyway. Um Akio. Come here. Rebellion. Uh let's see. Let me check out the map. So I made it way the hell over here. I need to go to Gladrig's Wizardware. Let's go there. Let's check that out. 
It's right here. See, uh, what kind of stuff they, uh, they sell. Rebellion. Gladrigs, or, or glad rags. Glad rags, that, that makes more sense. Wizard wear, founded in 1750, and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, <clears throat> Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Isn't, uh... Aren't those the guys that Mrs. Weasley told us to watch out for? Um... I think the second one... And then Miss, Mr. Augustus Hill. I think that might be the guy, guy she said to watch out for. I can't quite remember their names, but those are ringing a bell. Go in here and see what happens. She said they're, like, mischievous. Don't mind if I just drink this person's random cup of tea, do you? So I can chat with this guy. How do I do that? Uh, is there, maybe not. Can I chat with you? So, am I forgetting a way to talk to people? I don't think so. I guess I can't talk to them. Hello. Orange Eye of Newt Goggles. This guy's got a thingamajiggy above his head. Isn't there supposed to be like a prompt? Like push A to speak or something? Rebellion. What you got back here? Don't mind if I just snag it, do ya? Stylist casual school uniform. <laughs> That's cool. Can you imagine if real mannequins could do that? I think people would freak out. Yeah, I can't talk to this guy. I guess uh, it's just another one of those things. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practices, these mannequins, glad rag, serve only as a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Rebellion. Ah. A sneak scope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy untru nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. Surprised it didn't go off the moment I stepped in the store. Okay, well, I thought I was going to be able to buy stuff, but I guess not. Um, let's see... Uh, where do we need to go? Pippin's potions and the magic nep. Uh, Pippin's potions. All right, let's go there. Let's check it out. We've done enough wondering so far, and we shall do more. Uh, how do I do this again? Isn't it? There we go. This way? Okay. Man, this place is huge. Look at that over there. Uh, I think this is the right way. Out of my way, fools. Is this it? Potions for all. This will be it. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Hello. How are you? You don't mind if I just steal this stuff, right? Check Crimson Overcoat. Cool. Hi. See the X to talk. It's above his head. So that's how Rebellion. it goes. Uh huh. 
J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade and where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Q. All right, good sir. How are you doing today? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Cool. What can I do for you today? Well, let me see. We have Wigan Wield Potion Recipe. So I'm just getting recipes from this guy. A Duris Potion Recipe. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. So it's like, um, like stone flesh or iron flesh, basically. Recipe for healing potion. So these are free. Oh, They're replacing. Wise decision. Thank you. Uh -huh. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Okay. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Focus potion recipe. Recipe for a potion that reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. Thunder brew recipe. Powerful damage potion. Invisibility potion. Uh, that makes the drinker practically invisible. So maybe like, kind of like Predator style. Like camouflage maybe? Potion, or maybe it's just straight up invisible. Potion recipe. Uh, for, or, or Maxima. For a potion that increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Mm, so once I have the recipes... All I would need are the ingredients and then a potion crafting table, I'm assuming, and I can make them. Lacewing flies, I've actually picked up a few of those. And I have a few of these other ingredients. Stench of the dead. Interesting. Stench of the dead. Mongrel fur. Troll boogies. Ew, sick. Like, seriously? Troll boogers? Huh. <laughs> Spider fang. Leech juice. So these are all the ingredients. And here's just potions already made. Um. Cool. Now I. Looks like I can sell my stuff regardless of what it is. So I have gear here that I can sell. Um. I don't think I have any potions. I think we're good though. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. We can wield potions. Um, do you have a table in here? Is this a table I could use? Or do I have to conjure my own? I think I've got a conjuring um, ability, but I don't know how to use it yet. Um, but I think I have the actual table. I guess I'll figure all that out. Okay, next on the list is... Fire fresh produce, seeds, and fertilizer. I think that's the one, right? Uh. Oh. 
Whoa. I don't even notice those. I'm glad I don't have to get super close because they blend in very well. Like, I didn't even notice. Come on, where are you? Accio. Accio. <laughs> Out of my way, fool. Avada Kedavra! Well, hello there. Hi. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting on Warts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay. Let me guess. What those are. You're after something fresh. Dittany seeds unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Sebastian. Um, here's flowers and stuff. Interesting. So you're kind of uh, like you're a like a herbalist, basically. Uh, no one can say I don't me. keep a stack shell. Revelio. The magic neat cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Six chicken nuggets. Thank you. Um, what was that sound? It almost sounded like whisp whispering. That was weird. Revelio. Okay. Um, and there is the, uh, marker. To go back to Sebastian. We shall return to Sebastian. See, I need, like, a horse. I need one of those hypocrites. That horse that can fly. I'm gonna have to have something once I start exploring the countryside. Or I need to learn how to fly that flying spell where I turn into black smoke. Is that? Oh, there he is. All right, my good man. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. I like the way you think. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, not very smart attacking a magical bullet. What fire? Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so some attacks I'm assuming I need to dodge. Oh my god! Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We'll wear him down eventually! Yeah! Oh! Oh god! What the 
Look on these eggs. That's right, you lumbering louts. He's faltering. Two more hits to the job. Putting this new wand to use. Oh, oh, that's right. I have that Protego spell. Oh, uh... Is it... Oh, okay. I had the wrong buttons. Whoa! Did you see that? They're like, holy shit. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll? I did it by, by myself. Yourselves? By myself. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, so she's like a cop. Did you see that uh, spell I did? Ancient magic. Oh, that was cool. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Okay, you deal with him. I'm going to try out this spell. Um... Reparo. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. An entire building gets destroyed and just, you know, whip of the wand and it just fixes right back up. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Dick, man. Oh, the statue. Can we fix it again? Repara. Okay, these boxes and stuff belong somewhere. So that troll had on the red kind of uh, bindings that the guards and all them had, and the dragon. So it looks like... Oh, I missed this. Check this out. I'm going to grab this now. Honey Dukes. Honey Dukes Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets. From fizzing whizbees and exploding bon -bon or bonbons... Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling the uh, this shop's wares. All right, I'm probably still missing. Um. Repair. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. And then this one too. I think that might be all of it. Um, man, can you imagine? Uh, now, I don't know. Maybe throughout the other parts of the town, the trolls destroyed more than just this area. Because there, there was that first troll. So, where is that first troll? Did she take it down? Um, what is this? Hello. I'll take that. Thank you. 27 chicken nuggets. Is he inside the shop? He's inside the shop. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else destroyed out here. All the citizens took off, though. Hello. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Yeah, I think this is one of the guys to watch out for. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. 
And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Traditional school robe. So this is what he's given me. It's offense goes down. Um, preview gear? I Check that out. That looks as if Ooh. it was made for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll purchase it. How do I... Oh, I could go back. Yeah, I mean, I'll purchase it because it's free. Oh, my gear slot's full. Well, in that case, let me sell a few things. I picked up these glasses. Uh... And this, too. I haven't checked out how they look, though. I'm not sure. Like, this right here, it goes down in six. Oh, my God. This would go up. Defense, 19. Gray motley garb. Oh, my God. I need to equip that. Black leather gloves. Spectacles. I have seen these. Let's sell this. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with That you. way we can get this. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Oh, okay. Well, I've already gone through this, but I guess there's a tutorial as well. Um, your current defense and offense are displayed at the top. Yeah. Select the cloaks. Robe slot. Uh... Okay, so tutorial time. This is the one it's wanting me to. Why isn't it? Is this the one? Wait a second. No, that's what I'm wearing. What is it? Uh... Something tells me he was going to say something. Uh, thanks for the tutorial, I guess. Vince goes up by 19. This goes up by 22. I could actually get this. Um, I need to bring up my offense because, good lord, like, it takes a bit for me to take something down. I, I think I'm good. You have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. Yeah. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Um... Sebastian, wait! So, let's see here. I'm gonna go back. And... I have new glasses? Oh, yeah, that's right. I did pick these up. So this would go up, my defense would go up by 13, by 19. Check those out. <laughs> wow, that looks wicked. What do these look like? They look the same. So they look kind of creepy and uh, wicked. But what I could do... Uh, let's see. And then change appearance. So I can make it look like they're invisible, basically. Or make them look like anything else I've previously purchased. Um, and still have the effect on. So that's so cool. I have a hat. I don't have any new hats, though. So this one's great. I can sell these other two to free up a slot. The gloves... Um, I don't, I don't really want to sell the black ones. I could, I mean, I, I could make them, you know, anything else look like these at any moment, I think. I think that's how it works, right? Uh, the scarf. Oh, I did get a new thing here. Why does this have a lock on it? What is, what is this? It has like a lock on it. Six, nine. What does that mean? 
It obviously means I can't use it, but... So it has 11 there in the middle. This has 8. This has 6 and 9. So is that like... I forget, do I have a level? See, that goes up by 17. Um, so I can sell... I don't want to sell this one. Stylish casual school uniform. And the best one I was wearing, oh, it's this one, the, this new one that I got. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So, do. Um, you know, this outfit underneath actually goes kind of well with what I've got on there, but I'm going to switch it back to this because this looks better. And we'll switch this up. I'm not going to wear this throughout the whole game or something. Just uh, wearing it now. So everything's gone up pretty good there. And this guy does sell some other stuff. Look at all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just showing me the stuff I've acquired. Ooh, check this out. Enemies. So this is like the beastery. Uh, armor troll. The troll's forehand, backhand club swing pattern attacks will break through common shield charms. Dodging is the safest defense. Distance will not protect against an angry troll, as it will tear up chunks of earth and throw them at its targets. Okay, so that the troll didn't do that in this last fight, so maybe this it was going easy on us, basically. After the troll slams its club on the ground with both hands, flipping it upward will, with flippendo, will have greater leverage than usual, sending the club into the troll's face for a powerful blow. Ah. So uh, we never saw it uh, do that either in this fight. I don't think I know flippendo. Yeah, I don't think so. Um... Hitting a troll with its own boulder will catch it off guard and make it more vulnerable to follow-up attacks. So that's the only monster that we have fought in our beastry. Um, okay. Yes, got this hat. Uh, I, I don't know if the hat... Yada, yada, yada. And... Ingredients. Yay, hey, hooray. Okay. What is this? Beasts. Cool. Uh, thinking about... Oh, I do have a hat. This other one... Oh, it's probably just the appearance of it. Right? It'll show up. Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go have a butter beer. What is that? It looks like something I could take, doesn't it? Guess not. All right, let's Hello go there. find Sebastian. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? He's waiting for me. Good man. Oh, it's raining. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there. We might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay. What are you implying? Is she one of those girls? Oh, crap. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? 
I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. What the Thank hell? you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. <laughs> Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? Um... I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best that I do that later. Yeah. Um... And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. This, uh... Is it evening falling? The lighting's changed. Yeah, I guess so. Um, something tells me we might have trouble on the road. Yeah, it's nighttime out there now. So, uh, this is... What was her name? Fiona or something? Um, interesting. Interesting. I think she's uh, trans then, right? Sounds like it. Um, I'm so bad with names. I wasn't expecting that. But, I mean, I mean, hey, I, I guess. Uh, interesting character. And we have a bad guy now against us. Man, what's going on with my hair? Jeez. Uh, man, all these wizards popped up, didn't they? They were ready to go. Who is this? Can I talk to you? Oh, he's going to steal your snack. I was thrown off by the voice, though, to be honest with you. I thought it was a glitch. I was like, wait, what? But I th I'm think i pretty sure it's intentional. <laughs> I, it, it just threw me off. I was like, hold on a second. I wasn't expecting that. So a lot just happened. Quite a bit. And um, it is nighttime. So we do have a proper day and night cycle. Or at least I think we do. Maybe it's just... I don't know. Hey, Sebastian. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Serona? Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. 
Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Uh, ooh, ooh. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map? Well, can't I just go there on foot? Like, I have to just fast travel? Select Hogwarts map button to switch to the Hogwarts map. Oh, I can't even exit out of this now. Fast travel to your common room. Yeah, it's not going to let me do anything else. Uh, where is the common room again? I forget. The... It's not... Is it in the south wing? Oh, it's not even going to let me tra fast travel anywhere else. Slytherin common room. So the grand staircase and then Slytherin common room. I must fast travel. Professor Weasley, she gonna be like, What on earth happened? Oh dear me! What in the bloody hell have you two gotten yourselves into? Interesting. So, uh, you know, you could tell by the red glowing things around the troll that Ramrock was involved. I wasn't expecting him to show up right there in town. Um, I mean, they're after me. They're after me. Uh... It's it's interesting because Ramrock, you know, they showed up in that underground chamber thing. Well, no, it was a, a cell in um, Gringotts or Gringotts, Gringotts, something like that. It was that cell, and they showed up, and then there was that kind of giant, almost looked like a machine kind of thing, but it was some sort of sentinel, like a protector thing, showed up, and they had to fight it. But I guess they were after me. Um, okay. What do I do now with 10 more classes? Oh, there's an owl. Got some experience. So, oh, is that my level right there? Yeah, that's right. I forgot. So my level, here it is. It's 10. So gear is leveled, and there's only certain gear I can wear according to my level. Okay, okay. Standard RPG. Um, Now that I have leveled up, what was it? Was it glasses? What was that item that was over the level that I needed? Oh, it was a shirt, wasn't it? And it was... 11. I need to level up one more then. Okay. I think we're going to call this episode there. We have made some great progress. Everything's looking good. Um... Read Mel. You have received an owl post. Okay, we'll hold that thought. Whoa, ho, ho. It's from Mr. Fig. Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Where you at? Somewhere here in the school? Cool. So I get, uh, Mel. Is this my owl? Read Mel. So you're my owl. Okay, I could just read it from this menu, too. What are we going to call you? What should we call you? How about... Um... I don't know. I'm so bad with names. I'm bad with coming up with names on the spot. That's what it is, really. Hmm. I'll think of something. But I think we're going to call this episode there. I don't know. I... I'm assuming that Ramrock, whatever that stupid thing's name is, maybe they know my connection with ancient magic. Oh, by the way, did you see that awesome spell that I did? I just I shattered that troll. I guess that's like my overdrive or something. Can I do it again? No, not here. But, uh, yeah, that was awesome. And I guess they maybe learned about my connection with the ancient magic. Uh, that's why I'm able to see kind of certain stuff other wizards can't. Why are they after me? Who is this other guy who's teamed up with them now? Ah, we'll figure it all out in the next episode. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great freaking day.